Welcome to MRI Screening, Patient Monitoring. This video is about MRI screening, MRI scanning safety, patient care and patient safety, and patient monitoring. There will be a set of 72 questions and answers in a flashcard format. The information is credited to MRIQuiz.com, Quizlet, and MRI in Practice. Ready? Let's start. If you suspect that the patient has intraocular metallic foreign bodies, you must be screened for metal prior to entering the Mr. Scan room. How do you accomplish this screening task? You can accomplish this by taking x-rays of the orbital region and obtaining documented radiologist clearance. Patients with tattooed eyeliner or other ferrous pigment on region cosmetics should be advised of the possible complication of what? You should advise the patient that the complications can be temporary skin irritation, or swelling of the eyes or surrounding tissues during the MR procedure. What are the objectives of screening the patient before an MRI exam? The objectives are to prepare the patient for the procedure or reduce anxiety, to obtain pertinent medical history, and to rule out potentially hazardous metallic materials in or on the patient. This sign represents what? This sign is MRI safe. An implant with the above label would require no restrictions on the MR imaging approach and can safely enter the MR scan room. What about this sign? This sign means MR conditional. An implant with this label requires that strict manufacturer guidelines be followed, field strength, scan parameters, Duration, to ensure patient safety or entry into the MR scan room. Red circle across the letter M, R, represents what? This sign indicates MRI unsafe. An implant with this label would not be permitted to enter the MR scan room, nor be able to undergo an MR procedure, and alternative imaging methods would need to be considered. The general public is limited to a magnetic field of how many gauss? 5 Gauss Heart valves would be considered acceptable for an MRI scan at how many Tesla? 1.5 Tesla What is the most important aspect of providing a safe MR environment for patients and staff? Believe it or not, education is the utmost importance. Personnel with little or no training in MRI safety. What level of MRI safety expertise is this? It's considered non-MR personnel. Personnel with limited training in MRI safety. What level of expertise? This is categorized as level 1 personnel. Personnel with extensive training in MRI safety including a vast knowledge of the main magnetic field as well as the RF and gradient fields, and the risks and biological effects of these three magnetic fields. What level of expertise? If you say, level 2 personnel, you are correct. Patients in need of MRI, the gadolinium contrast should first have their glomerular filtration rate, GFR, check if they are, list four parameters. These patients are 1 over the age of 60. 2. Have a history of hypertension. 3. Have a history of diabetes. Or 4. Have a history of renal disease. The four things that used in the MRI suite to monitor patients are blood pressure, ECG, pulse oximeter, and and tidal CO2. What patient types who may require additional monitoring while undergoing an MR exam? Critical and or unresponsive patients. Pediatric, with or without sedation. Patients with limited vocal and or auditory ability. Patients with seizure disorder. Or claustrophobic patients. Sedated patients must always be monitored with a what? Pulse oximeter. A pediatric patient undergoing an MRI with conscious sedation should be given nothing by mouth, NPO, for how many hours before sedation? 
4 hours. Please do not forget this. A blank is one that is paralyzed from the waist down. That is a paraplegic patient. What about when a patient is paralyzed in the upper and lower extremities? That is a quadriplegic patient. If a patient has to be monitored with an electrical or mechanical device while undergoing an MR procedure, it is important that compatibility with the MR system be demonstrated by List 3. It must have 1. Clearance by the FDA 2. Manufacturer declaration 3. Prior testing The physiological reaction to being confined in a small space or location, the fear of being trapped is called Claustrophobia What is the name of a condition when blood sugar falls too low, often occurring when diabetic patients take too much insulin? Hypoglycemia What about a condition where blood sugar is elevated, causing a patient to be at risk for a CVA? That is called, hyperglycemia. The normal resting heart rate of an adult is between how many beats per minute? It's between 60 and 90 beats per minute. What about tachycardia, heart rate exceeding how many beats per minute? Tachycardia is above 100 beats per minute. Bradycardia means slow heart rate. How many beats per minute? Bradycardia means the heart rate is below 60 beats per minute. Please memorize and do not forget. Normal, 60 to 90 beats per minute. Tachycardia, exceeding 100 beats per minute. Bradycardia, below 60 beats per minute. What are the symptoms of a patient in cardiac arrest? A patient in cardiac arrest might include pallor and weakness, or not having a pulse. List the normal vital signs. Body temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, 37 degrees Celsius. Pulse rate should be about 60 to 100 beats per minute. Blood pressure is 120 80 millimeter mercury. What is the name of the device used to measure blood pressure? This is a tongue twister. Spigmomanometer. Again, spigmomanometer. Normal oxygen saturation level should be approximately at what percentage? 95 to 100%. A technologist may administer oxygen in an emergency situation. The most frequent rate used is what, with the average being how many liter per minute administered via nasal cannula or a face mask? The frequent oxygen rate used is, 2 liter per minute. The average is 1 to 4 liter per minute. Contrast reactions are very rare in MRI injections, at a rate of approximately what percentage? And the symptom most commonly reported contrast reaction is? Contrast reactions are about 1%. And headache is the most commonly reported contrast reaction. In the event that a patient develops severe bronchospasms after the injection of contrast, what would probably be administered by the radiologist or nurse? Epinephrine High-risk patients are often pre-medicated with what medication to help reduce the chance of having a serious anaphylactic reaction? They can take prednisone or Benadryl. What is the term for shortness of breath, or air hunger, is the subjective symptom of breathlessness, simply defined as difficulty breathing? The medical term is, dyspnea. What is the medical term used to describe vomiting? Emesis. Any disease-producing agent, especially a virus, bacterium, or other microorganism is called what? Pathogen. 
The medical term for the cause or origin of a disease. Etiology The term refers to the practice, in medicine, of avoiding contact with patients' bodily fluids, by means of the wearing of non-porous articles such as medical gloves, goggles, and face shields, regardless of any known transmittable diseases. Universal Precautions What is the name of the stage of disease when symptoms are not present? Latent disease phase PO is a Latin abbreviation for what? By mouth What about NPO? NPO is, nothing by mouth. Enteral drug delivery routes include what methods? Oral, sublingual, or rectal delivery. Parenteral drug delivery routes include? Intravenous, IV. Intramuscular, IM. Subcutaneous, SC and any route other than by mouth, PO, or rectal. BID, TID, and QID mean what? BID is twice daily. B stands for by. TID is three times a day. T is for try. QID is four times a day. Q stands for quad. What is the medical term for the decrease in the amount of oxygen in the body as a whole, generalized hypoxia, or a specific region? Tissue hypoxia. Hypoxia. That was easy. The medical term for fainting is precisely defined as a transient loss of consciousness and postural tone. Syncope. The term febrile is defined as pertaining to or marked by fever, also known as feverish. For example, a febrile seizure or convulsion is a seizure caused by a high fever. Infections acquired during a hospital stay or while receiving some type of medical treatment is defined as nosocomial infections. What is the term for an object that carries microorganisms from one person to another via indirect contact? That is, fomite. Diseases, such as malaria, in which microorganisms are transferred via an insect, come under the classification of what type of infections? Vector-borne infections What cell type is responsible for phagocytosis, which occurs when microorganisms enter the body and fluids carrying white blood cells travel to the site to destroy? A leukocyte, which is a white blood cell. The source of infection where pathogens thrive in numbers sufficient to cause a threat is known as a what? Reservoir Droplets can be spread by what routes, and depositing the droplets into the mucous membranes of the face. Droplets travel short distances of how many feet or less and do not remain suspended in the air? By sneezing, coughing, and speaking. The distance is 3 feet. Adhere to what type of precautions for all patients at all times for safety and infection control best practices? Standard precautions During the movement or transfer of patients, a urinary collection bag should be placed below, higher, or at the same level as the urinary bladder. It should be, below. UTI acquired nosocomialia are often due to the incorrect placement of the urinary collection bag. List two types of asepsis. Medical asepsis is the removing or killing of most microorganisms. Surgical asepsis is the removing or killing of all microorganisms completely. List the cycle of infection. First is pathogen, 
which means the cause of disease. Then, reservoir of infection, where the pathogen grows. Next is, susceptible host, pathogens grow in locations where they are stronger than the host they occupy. Finally, method of transmission, through airborne, droplet, or contact. What is the most effective method of preventing the spread of pathogens? Handwashing Learn transmission-based precautions, what to wear, when. For contact, isolation, gloves and gowns should be worn. For droplet, mask should be worn. For airborne, mask also should be worn. What should always be worn with a patient that has tuberculosis, and the patient should also be wearing a what? Both healthcare provider and patient should wear mask. What should always be worn by any healthcare provider for any direct contact with a patient? Gloves. According to the FDA, a severe reaction to MR contrast would be described as life threatening or permanently disabling. If a patient with COPD on 2 liters of oxygen began to have difficulty breathing, which of the following would be the recommended course of action? A. Put a cold compress on their head. B. Increase the oxygen to 10 liters. C. Elevate their feet. D. Stop the test and call the patient's nurse. E. Utilize a pulse oximeter. The answer is D. Stop the test and call the patient's nurse. What is the purpose of sterile technique? The purpose is to ensure sterile objects remain sterile. When moving blood enters a magnetic field, an effect on the ECG seen is the T-wave swelling or spike occurs, also known as the magnetohydrodynamic effect, magnet-hydrodynamic effect, or magnet-hemodynamic effect. FDA limits how much SAR for the whole body, and how much for the head. 4 watts per kilogram over 15 minutes of whole body scanning. And, 3 watts per kilogram over 10 minutes of scanning of the head. Regions of the body that do not quickly dissipate thermal absorption from SAR during MR procedures are what organs? Eyes and testicles. MRI zone 1 is for whom? For general public. What about MRI zone 2? Zone 2 is for MRI unscreened patients. And Zone 3 is for? For screened MRI patients and personnel only. Zone 4. Danger. Zone 4 is a restricted area, which is for screened MRI patients, under direct supervision of trained MRI personnel only. Thank you for watching. Please help by like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.